My name is Rafaela Che, and um, I'm originally from Cameroon, which is in West Africa, and I've been in the U.S. for almost 10 years now. I graduated from KCC um, in spring 2016, and I started here at UH Manoa uh, um, in the fall of 2016. Yeah, I'm pursuing the BS degree in nursing, and I'm also working on a second degree, which is um, molecular bioscience and bioengineering. What higher education means to me is um, I'd like to summarize it as being uh, self-sufficiency, you know. I want to have that uh, financial independence that I've lacked for most of the 10 years that I've been in the U.S. You know, um, being able to live a comfortable life in the U.S. is not easy. You cannot do that when you're making a minimum pay. We all know that, living in Hawaii. So I'm very happy that I made that choice um, eight years ago. Um, I do know that um, skilled education is really the only way for me to get out of poverty. About the time I spent at KCC, um, I look back and um, I think they are the foundation of why I ended up at UH Manoa. Um, the reason is when my life fell apart in 2014, I was uh, a current student, it was in spring of 2014, I was a student at KCC. And how everything happened, it was not that I showed up and explained to them that my life is falling apart. It was a professor. He went to the office unknown to me and he inquired about me and he found out I was a 4.0 GPA student. And he was, he was surprised. He said, there's something not right. So he called me in his office and that's when I, I broke down. And I, you know, I just told him what I was dealing with and which was you know, a very difficult marriage. And he took me to the single parents program that same time. He walked me, he held my hand and moved me over to that office. And um, from that moment, I began getting the help that I needed, which was somebody to talk to, somebody to help me. You know, I had to withdraw from school that semester. Financial aid, they worked with me to help me out. And then from that moment on, things were never the same because I felt like I had everybody on that campus supporting me. It was not only the teachers, I had the different offices. Some of them still follow up on me till today. <laughs> and to me, that is what KCC represents. It represents the foundation because had I dropped out at that time, I don't think I will be here at UH Manoa. So they gave me that uh, belief. I was able to come back in the fall of 2014, which was just about a few months after and I was eventually able to graduate in the spring of 2016. So I identify my uh, current success here at UH Manoa with the foundation that was given to me. Those credits did transfer over here and enabled me to start the nursing program that I'm in now. So I give them credit for holding me together. <laughs> I have been very, very fortunate to receive scholarships from all walks of life and what it represents to me is, um, I think is a fuel behind all my journey because on one hand, I'm very happy that, you know, somebody is generously, you know, providing me with their hard earned money and believing in me. So what it represents to me is the motivation that I need. You know, I did not want these people to stop believing in me. And for me, um, it is the reason why I stay motivated on, my, on the days that I'm not so happy. I think of all these people that have believed in me and some more than one time they've given and they've given again. So there's a reason why. So the question I always ask myself is how fortunate I am that they chose me. There's a reason why. So I have to make sure that they believe in me so they can believe in other students. Because if I do fail now, They'll be thinking, okay, what did I really do wrong? Did the student not get enough? I don't want them thinking that. I want them to know that when they give that money, you know, it's well used. And that is what being in school to me and the fact that I will graduate is to tell them that their money was worthwhile. And I can't wait to do that because it will really be the biggest, you know, thank you that I can give to all those, the people that have believed in me over these years. So many students that apply for these scholarships why do they choose some and not others? So I happen to be one of those fortunate students. You know, I make it count. I really, really make it count. And I'm going to graduate. I'm going to make them proud.